Okay guys, can you hear me well? Let me know if you can hear me. Here we are. Uh, yes, yes, we are ready. Here we have uh, materials, uh, the blank page, and we are ready. We are ready to go. So where are you from? Let's uh, tell me a little bit about you. Wales, nice. I will start drawing, guys. I don't want to waste our precious time together. Okay. So you can already see the first first thing I did is here uh, center line, okay, and then I can see a very uh, an easy triangle. We are going to make things easy, you know. That's one of of the keys uh, to simplify everything to the maximum. San Diego, Maryland. Helsinki, fa Finland, beautiful, Canada, okay guys, great, amazing, amazing, I'm here in my studio in Argentina, South America, so I will draw and try to answer all of your questions, I'm drawing with a 6B pencil, again, I don't want to waste time here, you know, uh, I want to to put the lines as fast as I possible down in the paper and then from there I'll start making all the adjustments uh, but it's easier when you have something to adjust you know don't think about it too much sometimes I try to to make it go you know faster you know the hand faster than the 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 eye you know or the mind so I try to yeah to work faster than I I'm used to sometimes and sometimes if I have the patience that Carla has that she has been waiting for two hours if I have that patience okay I will take my time but most of the days you know I am trying to to get right into it you know if you know what I mean so structure first New York I've been in New York a month ago beautiful love the city yeah uh, so guys um, there is a discount 50% discount with a, with a code in all classes including mine so I'm going to tell you the, the, this code the discount code this S PF50. So you have a 50% discount uh, on my drawing class, Portraits with Juan Pedernik. So go check that out. So again, working on structure. Now I'm going to wrap and work the nose here, straight lines. I'm trying to squint my eyes at the same time as I'm uh, looking at the reference and also at my, at my drawing, okay? Uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram, Instagram at Juan Perednik, where I share drawings and trying to inspire people and motivate people to draw every day. At Juan Perednik, that's my name. Okay, so structure, straight lines, uh, Hawaii, nice people from all over the world. That's very very cool. So this is a, a hard drawing, you know, guys. This is a challenge, you know. Uh, perspective are always challenge. It's always a challenge, you know, uh, because we are drawing things in weird angles we are not used to uh, to to looking at, you know. So you are never looking at a, a girl at this angle, you know. So you have to learn to believe on what your eyes see, and you have to learn to like to unlearn what you know, you know. It's a uh, kind of weird, but I think that is the way 
you know, to unlearn sometimes what you think you know, you know. So here we have the hand. Squinting my eyes, like watching a horror movie, you know. Since this is a portrait, I don't want to spend you know too much time with the hand, so. Uh, I'm trying to work mostly on the ang angle of the face, so I won't, you know, get crazy with the hand. Okay, so we have the hair. So as you can see, I'm like blocking in big shapes, working with a dark pencil so that I can uh, lower the values easily. Everything looks pretty bad <laughs> for the moment, and that's fine. That's how it should be, you know, at this at this stage. Uh, and I'm saying this so that you you can, you know, relax and know that this is supposed to happen, you know. It's not supposed to look pretty all the way, you know, all the time, especially at the beginning of the work. Up before 4 a.m. That's why. What do you do with all that time? Like, I wish I could be. Well, I am up at 6 in the morning, so it's early too, I guess. I'm trying to identify the shadow shapes. And I'm already thinking where am I going to put, you know, the the special um, attention here, you know, because I don't want the drawing to be all the same. I don't want to use or to work on details all around the drawing. So I guess this left eye and maybe the nose are going to be my focal point, you know. Uh, for attention again squinting my eyes try to understand the shapes not trying to draw a mouth here but uh, shapes and be aware of the triangle we worked on at the beginning because this should get smaller when it goes up, so if you want to if you want to know how it should be, well, it should be smaller, so sometimes uh, you have to keep repeating, okay, this should be smaller as I go up. Okay, so here we have a structure. Yeah. Not an easy one today, guys. Sorry for that. But this is perspective, so never easy. As you can see, I'm not taking care too much of the drawing uh, for the moment. I'm trying to figure out the general shapes, uh, shadow shapes. I'm just doing like a map of where am I going to work, where I am wor going to work, you know, and the shapes and going to uh, be shading and, and stuff. But not getting super, I mean, I, I never work 
super tight, I try to loose to loosen up, you know. For me that's important. All the drawings I like the most are, you know, very loose. And you can see how the artist uh, have fun while doing it. You know, that's something I I really enjoy. So I don't like uh, getting stressed with the hyperrealism and all that, you know. So I, I try to enjoy the experience. Remember, the drawing is not only uh, the the last result, but all the process. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start shading to see how or where this takes me. Okay. Yes, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see. Let's go. Again, squinting my eyes while doing the, the shading, squinting, I don't know if you can see me, I hope you, you don't because my face is crazy when I squint, so, uh, but yeah, I'm squinting, again, not focusing about, uh, in details, of course, I, I, I guess you already know that, um, if you want to, to learn all this technique in more depth and detail you can uh, join my uh, my course portraits in graphite with Juan Perednik you have a 50% off so I, I would say go and do it don't think too much 50% off that's a lot I would do it so I recommend you guys it's a great way of learning all this in depth you know and watching lots of examples and all the concepts more theoretically and not you know in one hour just you know one hour live stream so I recommend you go 50% off that's not happened every day so again having fun here with values with with lines uh, have fun, throw some crazy lines there that will, you know, actually uh, make you relax about the drawing and this will allow you to embrace mistakes uh, and also find new, new textures, new things you might like, you know, so Oh, thank you so much for buying the course, of course, yeah, yeah. Let me know then how it goes, any doubt you have, you can contact me. You can always get in touch with me via Instagram, I'm there, I'm there you know, working most of the time, so you can always get in touch with me. Again, I'm making a base, you know, uh, for all the... Uh, like a very basic value scheme here. Um, the loosen you work uh, and the loosen the lines are, like the drawing is going to forgive you more. You know, if you're uh, making details everywhere, the drawing um, will ask you more details. It's weird how it works, but it works like that. Like you set the rules, and if the rules are to work on details all the time, the drawing will ask for more details. If you work loose, like I'm doing, the, the drawing will let you, you know, and will forgive you uh, more mistakes and, and well, yeah.
here's my cat. So sorry for that. If you see, the, if you saw the tail. Okay. As I shave, I try to adjust as many things as I possibly can. You know, I'm not uh, always. You know, it's not that I do a line and I'm sure that's okay, and then I don't touch the line anymore. No, I'm making adjustments as I go constantly, all the time. Okay, so I'm going to grab a thinner pencil. This is a 0.5 HP, I think, and I'm going to, I'm going, I will try to um, make some lines a little bit darker, so that when I uh, mix it with the blending, I mean, once I blend, it doesn't disappear. Uh, you know, everything I've been working here on, even though it doesn't look too, to you know. Uh, to tight, I, I still see the structure of the joints here. So I'm going to blend, and I don't want this to to disappear. So I'm making some lines a bit darker, some shapes. Squint your eyes. Remember. My cat doesn't understand why I speak in English. She's looking at me like, why don't you speak Spanish? I think she doesn't speak English. Still thinking of straight lines, you know. So I'm always thinking of straight lines, trying to understand what I see and not what I think this should look like, you know. Japonés y un poquito español, wow, that's a lot, Japanese, that's crazy, amazing, I would love to, to speak a little bit Japanese, I speak English, Spanish and drawing, right? <laughs> Remember to squint. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to blend a little bit in a moment, trying to adjust everything I can before doing that. making darker values whatever I, I I'm sure you know the, the shape is or at least is how I want it to be
making a very light um, gray base here. Okay, kind of creepy. I like it. I like it. So let's uh, rub some paper and blend it a little bit. Uh, um, this was a 6B, the first one I used, and this is like, I don't know, it might be a 2B, and this is a 0.5. And the bigger one, the one in the beginning, was a uh, two millimeter. Okay. Okay. So let's keep going. Oh, I love that question. <laughs> Amazing artist and musician. How does music inspire, influence you as an illustrator? Well. I mean, influence in art doesn't come just from your, from your own, from your area of expertise. You know, I mean, I'm inspired by by movies, by music. The music part is a little bit easier because I guess we all hear music while we draw, right? So um, that's how it it inspires me. You know, I hear a good song I love. Right now we have a new. John Mayer um, album, so I hear that and I say, oh, whoa, this solo or this uh, this melody or whatever makes me want to draw, you know, uh, and I think that's uh, how it inspires me, but I mean, every, every, everyone that creates and makes something beautiful inspires me too, and the way I, I get inspired is or what it makes me do is go and draw, you know. So, yeah, music and drawing are my two big uh, things in life, you know, I enjoy and I've been doing for all my life. I've been drawing a little bit more than music because we all did. I mean, uh, when we are kids, we already, when we can grab a pencil, all of us, I think, we are already drawing, so... But music, I've been playing the guitar for around 20 years now, I'm 30, 31. So, yeah. I hope I answered the question, yeah. 4 millimeter in 6, and AB, I have to... Okay, yeah, don't, don't get too stressed about the, the tool you're using, you know, you have to be comfortable. And that's it. Uh, don't, I mean, break the rules. Don't do everything I say, you know? That's boring. Try to find your own, where you are comfortable, uh, what you're comfortable using, that's important, you know? I like the fact that this is looking very, very loose. Uh, I used to be all, you know, very, very, with, I used to use very little line work and, and I fallen in love with, uh, with working like this, very, very loose. It's more relaxing, it's like going to therapy, you know. Like, I like breaking the shapes, the forms. Uh, I love actually doing that and, and showing contrast between different ways, you know, of, of building a face in this case. It can be a body or, or whatever, so.
for me in a drawing it's important that the drawing has different uh, different textures different values you know if not it's it can be a little bit boring uh, for me so uh, so yeah these are all opinions you know uh, you I mean I encourage you to think of what I say and maybe you don't think the same way I do and that's great the, the, the important thing is that I'm making you think about you know how you draw what you want to do with your, with your drawing your composition for me that's the thing I want you to to do a little bit more you know to think what you want to do so that's why I try to show you how I think what I'm thinking uh, so that you can do it your own way you know I think that's the most beautiful thing I mean if art helps us in, in some way it's you know to be a hundred percent or two hundred percent free and of course not not to think in politics that's another thing it helps us <laughs> right okay uh, Okay, you don't do what anyone says to do. Amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that, Ellen. Thank you. Really appreciate the kind words always. Uh, you are the best, guys. I I'm always so happy when when I arrange, you know, with the with the sketchy team, you know, to do a live session or or a new course or whatever, you know, because you're great. That's that's the reason why. So. Thank you for that. Thank you for all the support. Uh, it's a big pleasure doing all this with you. This is looser than it's than my than my drawings are usually, right? Like this is very very loose, and I like how it's building up, you know. Uh, and I, as you can see, I don't go, you know, right away to the. Uh, to the realism and, and everything. I, I try to build up very slowly as I go, as I feel I have to, you know. As you can see, it's like a, a process. And I take a lot of decisions while I'm doing it. So it's like a dialogue, you know, with the, with the piece, you know. I do something, the piece is saying, oh no, go more here, go there, do something else, I like this, I don't like that, so make this adjustment. So I'm trying to respond, you know, to what, what, the, what the drawing gives me back. So it's like a, like a conversation. And for that, for you to be able to do that, you have to be open, you know, to hearing. This is like talking with people, you know, you have to be open to hearing other points of view and, and the same here, you have to be open to, to receive the message, you know. It's not that I go one direction and like blindfolded, you know, I, I follow and follow, no, no. I'm making decisions, changing as I go. Again, the dialogue with the, with the piece. Of the drawing. If piece is too much, okay, drawing. As you can see, I haven't used the eraser yet because that will open a new world, you know, the, the world of the light. I'm only trying to work with the shadows right now, okay, so I'm trying to build this based on shallow shapes and then I will probably go and say okay where I want the light to be you know but slowly we're going to be there or reach that point but first shallows
Think of edges, that's another one, very important. Hard edges, soft edges, that's very, very important to be thinking of while I draw. Very, very important. So again, perspective is very difficult. It's always a challenge. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't look amazing at the beginning or how it, you want it to be. You might want to do another try then, you know, so don't get, uh, don't, don't stress yourself. Don't be angry. Just understand that this is a process. Uh, and you will have to struggle a little bit, probably. Okay, so that's totally fine, and that's supposed to to happen. Okay. It's important also to know where the shadows are. Okay and to be able to uh, say, okay, um, separate the drawing in light and shallow, okay, before adding too many, too much values, different values, you know, just to say, okay, light and shallow. You see, I'm trying to understand where the lights are, where are the shadows, and trying to divide the drawing in simply two uh, different values, light and shallow. And then we're going to find the middle range values and, and all that, okay? But the, the concept of light and shadow should be, in my opinion, uh, easy to understand when you see a piece. You know, you, you have to be able to say, okay, this part is in shadow, this one in light. That way, we're going to understand what's going on. And then we can make it even more complex. But first, things first. Where's the light? Where's the shadow? You're more than welcome, uh, Ellen. More than welcome. I should thank you, guys. Okay, so I'm going to grab this old, as you can see, uh, this very old and, and yeah, very old guy uh, blending stamp, and I'm going to try to mix a little bit more, but simply in the sh most uh, dark areas, you know, not everything, but where I want the, the darker shadows, darker shapes to be because this one is already very used and old and it's it draws it's almost you can you can draw with this almost you know so uh, with this one especially you have to be very careful of where you you draw with you know where you go but as you can see everything that can mess up my drawing the better you know the messy the better like leo messy yeah
difficult one, right? Hey, Gary, no problem. You will have this, you will be able to watch this later too, so... Okay, we're good. We're going to start now with the eraser, the needle eraser that you wanted me to use, right? Uh, yeah, there's a reminder. You have a 50% off on my drawing uh, portraits in graphite with Juan Pérez 50% off using the SPF 50 code. Okay, so I would run to buy that and join that course right now, guys. If you like this drawing, if you want to see uh, in depth how, how, how I use all these methods, um, you should go and, and join that course. So right now, working a little bit with the eraser, trying to, again, squeeze, squeeze, uh, squint, sorry, your eyes, not squeeze, no, be careful, please. Uh, squint your eyes and try to understand where lights should be okay Brona, hola where are you from Brona? de donde sos? You can work with the eraser and then blend again. It's not that once you use the eraser that's done. You can keep uh, working uh, the shadows after this, of course. trying to make some texture you can make lights and then add texture to the lights if you want to thank you yeah the end the angle of this photo is is very difficult right it's great but difficult I'm having a hard time here guys I don't wanna uh, to say this too much, you know, but this is difficult, damn! It is actually quite difficult. But challenging, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun, it's fun. So see how I work the lights, then uh, then I, I blend a little bit, as you can see. Now I'm going to work um, with some darker values. I have my 8B ready to go. Okay, Faber Castell 8B. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and make some accents with a darker tone. So 
So as you can see, I'm already lowering the values in some specific areas I want to, I want to, yeah. So guys, if you wanted perspective, here you have. <laughs> this is a lot of perspective, guys. As you can see, I try to follow like a rhythm while I draw. I try not to stop, you know, or stop a little bit just to, to look at the reference and keep going. Uh, but that's important you know, to give, to give a rhythm to the drawing because then you will be able to read that rhythm or feel that rhythm um, while you look at the piece later, you know? So, yeah, that's interesting, right? So in a few minutes I'm going to call this done, finished, you know, because I like very much how it's looking and I don't want to, you know, do more than I, I should have, you know. It's looking fresh, loose, it has some uh, more, you know, some more defined parts. So when you think it's done, you're probably right. And I'm close to feeling that, so yeah. Again, I'm trying to think of the drawing as a design, you see. Um, sometimes I go away, like with the hand, uh, from the reference, I, I don't... Sometimes I don't care too much if it looks just like the reference. I, it's like I'm trying to think of it as a design. You know, this has to look good as a drawing. For the picture, we have the picture. Now we have to make a drawing. So we have to make graphic, you know, and more designed uh, or design decisions. You see, so at the beginning I'm more like an architect thinking of structure, you know, uh, right now I would say I'm a designer, uh, thinking of how it looks, how it feels, uh, what, what it uh, communicates. Yeah. I will use my Mono Zero um, eraser. Hey Andy, hola Juan, dice, sorry, uh, hola Andy, no problem man. Such a great guy Andy, always working a lot with the drawings, uh, great student right there. Okay, so I'm going to look for a few white uh, lines and I will be done with this one. So guys, remember to follow me on Instagram at Juan Peredenic. Remember you have 50% off 
on every uh, you can go on and join my um, portraits with graphite with Juan Perednik you can go join with 50% off um, yeah so I don't want to forget about saying that it's important again I, I try the drawing to have you know different textures so that the eye can enjoy you know why why while it goes around the drawing so it's not boring you know so some white there guys I'm going to upload this on Instagram I want you guys to to show me what you've done how it goes and any doubt you have you can of course ask me Okay guys, yeah, here we are. I'm done here, I will probably, yeah, I'm going to take a picture and upload it at in, on Instagram. Big pleasure, as always, sketchy, they are the best, uh, and you are the best guys. Thank you for all the support. Um, I'm going to put my materials here. Uh, I want to see that Procreate Naomi, that Procreate version of this, I want to see it. So share it on Instagram if you want to upload it or um, make a uh, story and mention me so I can share and I can look at it. Big pleasure guys, as always, thank you so much uh, for spending the, this time with me and hope to keep in touch with you, okay?